Hello everybody, it's Tim here. Uh, so, guess what's in the box? I guess if you didn't read the uh, subject of the uh, video, you wouldn't know. Anyhow, I wanted to get one of these and I had it in my cart on Amazon. You know, where else would you buy stuff? But I had it in the cart and then they had their Amazon deal days and I didn't even think about it and uh, it was on sale for about $31. So I said, well, I think this is the time to probably see what happens so I'm going to open this up as we decide this isn't like a, a box opening video well I guess it is a box opening video because I'm opening it but you know I'm just kind of going to show you what you get we'll give it maybe take it for a test drive here and see how it works I still haven't told you what it is and since you didn't read the uh, subject there it is it's the rework station, a hot air, a hot air station. So, not very heavy, I'll tell you that. I thought they forgot to send me something in the box. So let's see, what do we have in the box? We have the doohickey. That would probably be the hot air gun. So we'll take that out. Try to keep it a little bit lower so you can see what's happening here. There's the hot air gun. 110 volt tag it has on it. Here's the brains of the whole thing. And you can see it's the looks like COZ 858D as in Delta. So let me put all this stuff out of the way here. I'm sorry. Ah, you didn't want to see my face. And let me uncord this. So let me see what we got. We got uh well a little tiny screw and I'm not sure what those two items are. And the heat nozzles. I imagine this bolts onto the side of it one way or another. Let's see. I would hope there's two screws. I mean, if not, I have others, but it doesn't look to be two screws unless there's one in this thing somehow. Um, oh, I'm sorry, they would go on this side. Here's they gave me screws there. So let me see. Let me uh mount this all. There's no sense in you sitting there watching me mount it. I'll mount it and read a little bit of the instructions real quick to see what we're going to do and then we'll give it a shot. I mean I looked at the uh, that looks a little odd. That's kind of the way it goes I would think. At least the way they had the, the screws in. But it goes like that. I don't know if you'd want to put it like this. Then I thought about it. I guess if it's blowing warm air, you don't want it pointing down at your bench. So maybe exhausting away from everything. I don't know. Uh, there's no there's no picture in here that shows me how it goes. So I'll look, maybe look at the picture of the uh, the device on the on the internet and see how they had it. Uh, I think it was on, on Amazon rather see how they had it. So that takes care of that. Alrighty and then uh, give you a couple different tips. The, the instructions recommend using the largest you can at first. So here's the uh, the gun without any tips on it. Here's the tip. I don't know if you can see that but there's a little intrusion on both sides and on this there's actually a little extrusion I don't know how well that's going to work but anyhow you put that down and give it a turn that hurts uh probably some kind of burring in the metal uh give it a turn and uh there you have it so to take it off you do that uh and now I get a metal splinter that I'll have to play with uh but it has it, like I said it comes with three different tips and we'll start with the biggest one first. Uh, the instructions are a little hard to follow because they're that 
converted Chinglish as they call it. It's probably written in Chinese and then created using some type of uh, translation into uh, English and not all the time does that work. So let me see. So let me plug it in and make sure it's turned off. I'll plug it in. Mind my head again. And I'm going to turn it on and see what happens. Can you see it? Can you see it? Let me see. Maybe it's that lower. So let's turn it on and see what happens. Nothing. Oh, I got to turn my power cord on. Now let's turn it on and see what happens. 100. Blank, blank. Uh, let's see. That would be my temperature setting. Just curious to see. Goes to 5. I'm assuming it's going to be centigrade or Celsius. I don't know if it's got an English, uh, or I mean, a, yeah, an English metric ability or not. I'll have to look that up as well. I didn't see anywhere where it said that. Okay, nice. Not until you lift it off there does it actually start to heat up. And the air is getting quite hot. So let me put it down. See if the temperature's going back down. Let me get uh, something that we can unsolder. All right. Now, this other device that came in the bag, I still don't really see where they tell me what it is. I'll kind of bring it there. It's this, and if you can see that, and a little screw, and it looks like it would screw together like this and almost create a mini pitchfork type thing and I'm really hoping that they're not saying these are some type of tweezers uh, can't find it in the manual I'll have to really scour through it I looked through it a couple times and I'll check and see but uh, I mean this end feels kinda heavy duty but I don't know what the story is with that end um, but I didn't put the screw in because I'm not totally sure what it is yet so put the uh, put a piece over here on uh, the board that we can take a look at and see how this here device works. So I'm going to move the camera so you're kind of looking down on it and we'll pull off a uh, looks like maybe a diode. All right let's see so I'm going to go for this guy right here. We'll have the temperature set. Well I don't know We'll put it about 300 just to see. I have no idea. Celsius, what would that be? About 700? We'll leave it at that. You see I take it off there. You can adjust. Can you hear the, the fan? That's it. Low and full tilt. Certainly seems to heat up. I'll heat up pretty quick. Uh, doesn't take long at all. All right, we're gonna go with uh, trying to move this right here. Let's see, and actually, we'll take this one because it's close to another component, and uh, see how effectively we can remove that. I have the uh, the desolder set at 350. I had done a few of these before, but all you could see was my hand when I reviewed the film. So, so I. I have to redo this again. Hopefully this will work. Let me make sure my hand's not in the way this time. No, that should be good. Okay, so we're going to go for this guy right here. I'm trying to keep my hand out of the way there as much as I can without melting the capacitor right next to it. I 
I'll make sure I still got it in the shot there. There we go. Came right off. As you can see there's the, uh, let me put this back. Then it runs and it cools down. It turns the uh, heater off, but it'll cool itself down. So here's the component. And there, right where it was. Yeah, so next what I'll do is I'll try this component right here. It's a 8-pin uh, chip and I'll try and heat from this side so as not to block it and you can, you can see. Alright, here we go. Heat's on it. And like I said, uh, this is the first time me doing anything with one of these. And it's brand new, so don't expect too much. Again, this is the biggest nozzle as well. So I can imagine if I used a smaller nozzle, I could get in here easier. And there it is, chips off. And no damage to the board. Oops, other than my tweezers and me trying to do everything with the wrong hand. No damage to the, the IC. Let me put the gun back. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, board's not burned up. Nothing else came off. I can see some. Uh, the resistor capacitor here that you really want to be careful when you're doing that because they uh, they're awful small and they can get displaced very easily so I'd always recommend doing this under a scope of some type uh, I was using just a magnifying glass but that was just for demonstration purposes but uh, if you're gonna do this let's say use that all right so that was uh, yeah and so one thing I did notice here, again, be very careful. Fortunately, this board's scrap, but the plastic melted on this connector right here. So, there's a capped on tape you can use and everything, but still, I think with uh, when it heats up, even with the tape on it, you're going to be uh, in a world of hurt with that. So, use a smaller nozzle and just be careful with things like that. Maybe I was coming at it from this direction so that you could see it on the camera. Normally, I would have been coming at it from this direction anyhow, so that wouldn't have happened, but something else similar could have happened. Anyhow, just be careful when you're doing that. Uh, it works. It does its job, but it gets awful hot. I mean, it does what it says it'll do, um, and I'm sure if you're going to do a lot of surface mount, you'd be practicing a whole lot more. Uh, but the, one of the main reasons I bought it too was uh, not the main reason was uh, for heating up uh, heat shrink when I want to do heat shrink that works pretty quick to do it with that you know I don't know thirty dollar uh, cigarette lighter but uh, anyhow that's it so all in all first use with it uh, I can't complain for the price it does what it said it would do there's no real big issues with it other than uh, I have to see if there's a way to change the temperature to uh, Fahrenheit just because that's what I'm used to but either way that's not a deal breaker and and come to the ah, I meant to do that come to the realization of I don't know what this piece is here move that up for you so you can see yeah I'm not sure really what that is let me zoom out like I said if it was like a tool that they gave you you know I mean nice added touch but I don't know how practical it really is so all right well that's it thanks for watching